The Tivoli Hotel and Congress Centre is Tivoli Gardens branded accommodation just over a kilometre away from the theme park. Situated in the heart of Copenhagen and offering 5% off park tickets, is the Tivoli Hotel the place to stay when visiting the theme park? This video will help you find out. Located between the Copenhagen Central train station's railway lines and the river, Tivoli Hotel is two streets or a 14 minute walk away from Tivoli Gardens. This may feel close, but in the middle of a massive city this could be quite a trek, especially when walking past countless other hotels. After the hike you get to see the building for the first time. It's very grey. They try and spice it up in the Copenhagen skyline by giving it a piggledy piggledy design that makes it look like a half completed game of Jenga. With its entrance looking more like the entrance to a shopping mall rather than a hotel, you need to be quick when travelling through the revolving doors as they do not stop for you and will just crash straight into you if you're too slow, so hurry hurry. Upon entering you are greeted by an impressive statue of a very glum face. Hopefully this isn't an indicator of things to come, but once you have picked up your room keys, it's time to go up the elevators and visit your room. The Tivoli Hotel has 679 rooms, ranging from the minimal of minimal to the expensive suites. Being a bunch of basic bees, we opt to go for the standard room, which still offers free Wi-Fi, air conditioning and access to the fitness centre and pool. Is it a decent looking room? Um, no. It's a very cramped room and the colour scheme is incredibly ugly. It's like someone said, what's the worst colours to go with each other? Those? Yeah. They'll do. Put them everywhere in this room. The official website says each room has a discreet Tivoli look. Bland paintings with the word Tivoli written on them is a bit on the nose. The annoying thing is, is that the Tivoli Gardens is a beautiful park. A mixture of nature with its flowers and lakes blended well with its amusements. This room with its dullness blended with an awful colour scheme and lack of decent theming is nothing like the feeling the theme park creates. The room has a mini bar and it tries to flog you some wine, which I suppose might make you care less about the room and make you enjoy it more. Apart from that, the room has a desk and a chair, with a TV on the wall. I cannot argue about the view too much though. I was able to see a bit of Copenhagen's harbour, which made me feel a lot happier. There were also plug sockets by the bed, which if you are a connoisseur of my hotel review videos, then you know I always rate this. The bathroom is an improvement on the bedroom. It is very elegant in design, however it also sadly has negatives. It was very stingy with the towels, the bath took an absolute age to fill, and for some strange reason, in order to get the Tivoli logo somewhere in the room, they have placed it on the bathroom door, rendering the room entirely visible to anyone in the hotel room. Why? The Tivoli Hotel does spoil you with places to eat, starting with the Tivoli Lobby Bar just to the side of the reception, which serves a whole range of light snacks, whilst breakfast, lunch and dinner buffets are served one floor higher in the Brassier, and more light snacks and cocktails can be found in the Tivoli Bar and Lounge on the second floor. Further up the hotel is the Tivoli View Restaurant, where breakfasts are only served to those in the swankiest of hotel rooms, but those not staying in those rooms can still enjoy decent views of Copenhagen if they have dinner in the mashed penthouse which serves steaks or the sticks and sushi restaurant a Japanese sky bar that is not actually owned by the hotel despite being on its roof so it's worth booking a reservation if you want to have your dinner up there. Entertainment wise the hotel is great if you're at a corporate event a huge area at the front devoted to meeting and greeting and food whilst behind that is the conference room that can turn into a disco hall if that's what the event manager desires. Unfortunately for the regular guest this area is blocked off most of the time by security. The fact that the conference area usually has an event on is good for the hotel's profits as it means the congress centre is doing its job by holding loads of conferences but it's bad for guests not part of whatever conference is going on who are restricted to only a small part of the hotel and still have to deal with the very hammered well suited conference guests that just walk around anywhere and everywhere even though they have a huge designated area of the hotel which you cannot enter yet they can. Just stick to your bit please. I did manage to experience the conference area by sneaking around security to gain access to the event. I could have been kicked out at any moment so please take a moment to appreciate the lengths I go to to get good hotel reviews for you all. Thank you. Plug in aside for the regular guests there is a pitiful amount available in comparison. It doesn't mean the things on offer are bad the swimming pool and gym in the basement are great additions. The swimming pool had a waterfall feature that I was never sure how to operate. It just seemed to work every now and then. Maybe it was timed, or it decided to work every time I couldn't use it as someone would immediately dive into it like it was a game of musical chairs. The Sticks and Sushi's rooftop bar is brilliant too. It provides a great buzz with the best views you can hope for in this area of Copenhagen. Outside of that there's not much. There's a large expansive rooftop area on the second floor. It allows you to look down at the Congress visitors through these glass prisms. But aside from that, this area is a large nothingness. It has a few seats and a slide in the far corner, and that's it. Inside there's a kids soft play area, which means at least your kids might be happy whilst you're bored out of your skull. During the day there's a concierge desk at the entrance of the hotel. This could provide you some use because as bad as the hotel is, Copenhagen itself is an incredibly beautiful city, full of interesting and wonderful landmarks that are well worth visiting if you have the time. 
For those going to Tivoli Gardens, the hotel does offer a 5% discount, which is appreciated because Tivoli is not the cheapest of theme parks to say the least. To conclude, the Tivoli Hotel and Congress Centre is not a hotel I would recommend when visiting Tivoli Gardens. As the name suggests, the main purpose of the hotel is its Congress Centre, and everything in this hotel is catered towards providing Congress Centre guests an entertaining night, rather than making the place comfortable for those visiting the theme park. Tiny box-like rooms and half a hotel being made inaccessible if there's any events on makes you feel like a secondary guest when staying overnight at this location if you are just here because it's a theme park hotel. Those visiting due to a conference will have a much better time as the hotel is structured entirely around your stay and provides enough entertainment that the small hotel room will not bother you as much as you will be spending very little time inside it. Being quite a walk away from Tivoli Gardens, you are better off staying at a hotel closer to the park itself. The Tivoli Hotel and Congress Centre is not worth the money for an overnight theme park stay and the brand reputation does not transpire to the hotel itself. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions or things you want to say about the Tivoli Hotel. And leave a like if you found the video useful as it makes it easier for others to find our review too. We have a fair few theme park hotel reviews on our channel and if you are looking up more on-site park places to stay, subscribe for more and we'll be publishing more of them along with theme park hotel reviews and other theme park related videos. We have also visited Tivoli Gardens itself and, spoilers, had a much better time inside the theme park than at the hotel. So if you want to see our first hand reactions to the theme park, please check the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.